Mr. Cummings. Um, let me uh, start off since uh, actually this uh, came out of the Senate yesterday and uh, not just a conference. Um, uh, again, our, our position is that uh, uh, the budget passed uh, by the Senate uh, does not uh, uh, make the uh, invest in what really matters here in Ohio. It, it is short-sighted and does not deal with uh, long-term issues uh, for the state. Uh, we believe that uh, uh, in 2011 uh, there was shared sacrifice uh, in the state. The state asked uh, local communities to share in that sacrifice, asked education to share in that sacrifice, asked uh, um, uh, a whole variety of, of human services programs to share in that sacrifice. And now, while more revenue is being generated uh, in just a, a uptick in the economy, um, the, the uh, Republicans do not want to share in um, the benefits of that across the board. Uh, we as Democrats believe that uh, we need to ensure our investment into communities, uh, investment into children, uh, investment into uh, the most vulnerable uh, in the state of Ohio uh, to, to lift up the state. And this is the time now to do it, not to continue to uh, put tax revenue in the mattress uh, and, and just gear it up for another uh, tax cut, uh, say, in the MBR a year from now or in the budget uh, uh, two, two years from now. Yeah, and I just um, and thank you, Senator Skindle, and thank you all for being here this morning. Um, you know, the overarching issue, uh, I think, in this budget is tax policy. And it has been from the start. It's been a tax policy. And I challenge you to find an individual or a business in the state of Ohio that is clamoring for an income tax cut. I challenge you, this has been a tax policy that's been flawed since 2005. We have not seen the kind of economic growth in Ohio that we've seen uh, nationwide. And so this is not something that's proven to work, and yet we continue to cut income taxes. Uh, it's talking point tax policy, in my view. Uh, you know, you, you, you can talk about this all you want, but until you can prove that this works, uh, that's not a very good situation for the folks in the state of Ohio because I think our view is you, in a budget, you're to create a vision uh, for everybody in Ohio, for working families, for, for uh, you know, individuals that are you know, trying to make ends meet. And when we continue to cut taxes for primarily the wealthy in the state and leave the other folks behind, um, that's just not something that we think is strategic, uh, that is helpful for the majority of families in Ohio. And so we continue to have real issues with really what's going on in this budget, which is, you know, we, we've got some increased revenue, uh, we've got some growth. Uh, our view is that we should invest in what matters, uh, that is the people of Ohio, the students in Ohio, uh, and stop creating a tax policy that people like to talk about on the other side of the aisle, but it has not been proven to work. So that's kind of our situation here. I think you heard that tone coming out of both the House and the Senate. Uh, we're going into conference, um, so we'll see uh, you know, what happens there. But uh, we're happy to field questions on, on 